Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I have a pre-winter Zara haul. I picked up some fabulous pieces that I cannot wait to share with you. So make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell switched on if you're new and I'll have everything linked in the description box down below. So I wanted to start things off with one of my favorite pieces that I've recently picked up from Zara and it's this fabulous Codigan Cardi coat. I'm not 100% sure what to call it, but it is more of a coat, though it is a knitwear piece, and it is very, very long. I'm 5'3 for reference, and it comes almost floor at length on me. Now, the idea behind wearing this is instead of a jacket or a coat, so if it's a really nice kind of late fall, winter day where you don't need to wear a heavyweight jacket and it's not completely pouring down rain outside, I think this is a beautiful alternative. So I can already tell you that I absolutely adore the Cardi coat. The color is absolutely beautiful. I just threw it over top of the sweater dress that I'm wearing throughout the video and it doesn't look too bulky. It fits absolutely perfectly underneath. This is definitely a way that I would style up this piece and then I paired it with my knee-high boots last season from Zara. I will have something similar linked down below. But you can really see how long the cardi coat is on me. It can be completely covered up at the front, especially if it's really chilly outside. You could even belt it. I think that would be a really chic, feminine look. Zara has some really unique knitwear pieces in store, and I've been on the lookout for a cape. I haven't quite found exactly what I'm looking for just yet, but I came across this gorgeous poncho, and I think this is absolutely stunning. This is a fabulous piece for those days where you simply just don't really know what to wear, but you know you want to be warm and cozy and also look stylish and put together. So this you just toss right over top of your body. It has quite a long length to it as well, so I kind of envision throwing it over top of jeans or a pair of faux leather leggings and styling it either with ankle boots, knee high, or even a pair of over the knee boots. So you can see how big the poncho is. Oh my goodness, it just covers up the majority of my body, but it's very kind of like alpine chic. I absolutely love it. The color is so pretty. So I just threw on a toque. This I've had for a few years, so I'll link something similar down below. I'm wearing a white mock neck long sleeve top on underneath. I'm wearing a pair of high-waisted jeans. These are by Abercrombie. These are like buttery soft. They're super stretchy and really comfortable to wear, so I'll link them down below. And then these gorgeous kind of tan brown colored boots from H&M. Next up we have another gorgeous unique knitwear piece from Zara and it's this beautiful turtleneck cable knit knitwear vest. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe so I thought it could be quite a chic yet practical piece to style up during the winter season. Now I did pick this one up in a size medium. They didn't have a small available in store but I think the medium works. I do like the length of this piece. It's going to cover you up at the front and at the back but how I envision styling it is just throwing a belt over top of it and really kind of cinching you in at the waist. I think it's going to create a really feminine and sophisticated silhouette. If I swapped out my boots for my sorrel winter boots, then this would be a very alpine chic outfit. I kept on the same pieces that I was wearing underneath the poncho and I think it really works. I like the way the white mock neck long sleeve top looks underneath the cream vest. I think it's a nice contrast. My belt is from H&M. It's a wide belt, so I will link it down below if it's still available. Now I'm wearing the medium and I think it comes to a really nice length. I don't think it looks too big. So if you're unsure on sizing, I don't see why you couldn't size up. I think it works really nicely. And I have the same jeans and same pair of boots on. Now speaking of lighter colored neutrals, next up are these gorgeous faux leather leggings in this beautiful cream shade. I've been looking for something like this for a couple of years now. So I'm so excited when I spotted these in store from Zara. Now these are more of a mid-rise and I have to admit I do prefer to wear a high rise but they do come to about my belly button on me so I'd say kind of between a mid-rise to a high rise. They're quite comfortable on. They're elasticated at the waist here. They have a zip closure. I haven't worn these out of the house but I'm really looking forward to it and then they do have a zip detail at the front which makes it a little bit easier to slip your feet in and out of the leggings. So I've just styled up the faux leather leggings from Azara. A little bit of an equestrian look, but this is exactly how I envision wearing them. I really like the color of them. I think that it contrasts really nicely against this creamy white knit, but you can see they have almost kind of like a beige tone. They come up to just about my belly button on me, and they're quite form fitted through the body. I think they look really flattering on. So I just threw over top a white chunky knit from H&M. Hands down, one of my favorite pieces that I picked up during the fall fashion edit. These gorgeous boots also 
from H&M. I think they work really well. And then I just threw over top a camel wool coat. Now, if you watched my fall Zara haul during the fall fashion edit, then the next piece I have to share with you might look a little bit similar, but I have treated myself to another one because it's a trend that I just absolutely adore. And it is the headband trend. And Zara has some beautiful headbands, both in store and online. Just their accessories in general are absolutely stunning for the fall and winter season. So this is the headband that I picked up back in October and it is just absolutely exquisite. I love wearing this piece so incredibly much and then I came across this one in store. I definitely did not need both of them, but oh my goodness, they make an incredible statement. If you want to feel like royalty, like the belle of the ball, you want to turn heads, then I definitely check these gorgeous headbands out. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, then you'll notice that I am a huge fan of the Baker Boy hat trend. If you're not following me, I'd love to have you over there. It's a great way for you to see how I'm styling up the pieces that I share with you in my videos. You can find me at The Flight Alista. I have my Instagram handle up on the screen here. So the next piece I'm going to share is this gorgeous Baker Boy hat in this fabulous herringbone print. Now during the fall fashion edit, I did pick one up that was in a gray, but then I spotted this one from Zara, so I exchanged it for the herringbone style. I think it's quite classic and timeless. And what I love so much about the Baker Boy hat trend is it really helps to elevate your outfit. It makes it look like you put a lot of effort in, but all you did was just add a very kind of trendy and in style hat, which I love. And the houndstooth print never goes out of style. I mentioned earlier that Zara has some fabulous knitwear pieces and this one is of course, no exception. Now at first glance, I feel like it looks quite festive, but if you take a really close look at it, I don't think it has a specific pattern that gives it a real kind of holiday feel. Like there's no snowflakes or anything like that on it. It just has this really beautiful design detail in this gorgeous pearl embellishment. I absolutely adore this sweater and I really love this entire outfit actually. This sweater is so incredibly soft and cozy. I think it's so feminine. I love the gorgeous pearl embellishment. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I topped it off with a pearl effect headband from ASOS. This beautiful cream kind of off-white knitted midi skirt from Zara. I think the sweater and the skirt pair really nicely together and then these fabulous heels. Oh my goodness. These are from Steve Madden. I am absolutely head over heels for them. I think they're stunning and really looking forward to wearing them all throughout the holiday season. So I wanted to share a casual styling option for this sweater and just to kind of show that I don't think it only needs to be worn in a festive way. So I have it paired with a pair of high-waisted button-up front jeans. These are by Abercrombie and and then my cream knee-high boots from Zara. I think it really helps to dress down the outfit and give it more of a casual laid-back feel. And then for a jacket option, I just threw over top my gray wool coat last season from Evernew. I think it works really well with the sweater and then just kind of adds to the vibe of it not being overly festive and a piece that you can wear all throughout the winter season. So the next piece I have to share with you is a gorgeous knitted midi style skirt in this beautiful cream color. I do think that this piece does come in a couple of different colors, but I love my light neutrals. It's elasticated at the waist and this piece is part of their Join Life collection. So it is a sustainable conscious piece from Zara. I did want to point out which you might be noticing. It is a little bit on the see-through side. It has a really nice weight to it. It's going to keep your legs nice and warm, but you might want to be mindful of your undergarments. I absolutely adore this outfit. This skirt is so incredibly beautiful and elegant and feminine, and it's extremely soft and comfortable to wear on the body, but it just looks so much more dressed up. So I paired it with this gorgeous beige turtleneck style lightweight knit from Target, and then I threw on this faux suede belt from H&M. It's quite a wide belt, but I think it works really well and helps to pull the outfit together. And then these beautiful tan boots that are from H&M. They're a knee-high boot. Another option would be to wear like tights or leggings on underneath and then add your boots and then you're going to be super cozy and warm. And for a jacket option, I just threw over top my camel wool coat. It's last season from H&M. I think it works beautifully with the skirt. It has a nice length to it. 
It's going to keep you really, really warm, but still looking chic. You definitely do not have to compromise on style with this outfit. I cannot resist a good faux fur jacket during the fall and especially in it to the winter season. Now, this one I picked up in store. I'm not 100% sure about it. It is a little bit more casual than I was hoping it would be because of the exposed zipper here at the front. You can really kind of see the zipper and typically I do like more of a concealed zipper or kind of button it up detail. The other thing about this piece that's a bit interesting is it does have a drawstring on the interior, but that's actually kind of nice, especially if it's a little bit chilly outside because you can really kind of cinch it in to your waist. You don't have to worry about kind of any air getting in, but I really like the color of it. It's very kind of like natural. You're going to look like a giant cozy teddy bear. It took me a minute to figure out how I wanted to style this cute little faux fur coat, but I think this outfit really works, though I do find this jacket a little bit tricky to style, which is not always a good sign because I might not find myself reaching for it, but I love the color. I just think it's so incredibly gorgeous. It's the black lining though that's definitely throwing me off with this huge exposed zipper, but underneath I paired it with a white turtleneck style sweater from Forever 21 and a sweater fits really nicely underneath it which I love. It has nice pockets at the front as well and then I do like the drawstring option on the bottom because it'll help kind of keep the cold air and the wind out. I'm wearing a pair of high-waisted button-up front jeans from Abercrombie and then I paired it with my white patent boots. These are by Steve Madden and they have this chunky black kind of contrasting heel which actually works really well with the little faux fur coat. Now I'm also a little bit on the fence about about this next piece. It could be the color or the fact that I probably don't necessarily need it, but this is an A-line midi style sweater dress. And I absolutely love to wear a good sweater dress during the fall and particularly during the winter season. I'm wearing a really gorgeous one from Topshop today. I'll have this piece linked down below for you. So I don't know if I necessarily need this, but it has some really pretty design details. So it just has a seam here, which creates that A-line silhouette. It doesn't contain any wool, which is great. It's not itchy at all on the body, but it has a really good heavy weight to it. So you'll definitely kind of want to hold off until the winter temperatures really start to set in for this piece, because I do think even where I live, it is a little bit warm for right now. So here is the A-line midi dress on. I think it is very flattering on the body. It has a really nice shape and silhouette to it. I like the neckline. The sleeves come down quite far. Actually, I might even need to roll them up. You can see the seam just below kind of the bust area here, and then it kind of flares out at the bottom and comes to a really nice length. I just paired it with my knee-high boots last season from Zara, and I will show a jacket option for over top of it next. Honestly, it just feels like you're wearing a giant blanket over top of your body. For a jacket option, I've just thrown over my recycled wool coat from H&M. It's in this really kind of pretty beige color. I think it works really well over top of the dress, especially because the sleeves are a little bit wider. Another option would be to throw a chunky knit over top of the dress if you're just wanting an extra layer of warmth, but then it will create the illusion that you're wearing a skirt, making the dress a little bit more multifunctional, but I think it looks really pretty with a wool coat thrown over top. So next up are these fabulous Chelsea style ankle boots. I feel like they really speak for themselves. They are just perfection in my opinion. I beelined over to them when I spotted them in store. It's that pearl detail that got me. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't wear a lot of black, but these are absolutely beautiful. It has a buckle detail on the side, which I do have to undo to be able to slip my feet into them. It is elasticated right here. It has a really pretty studded detail at the back and then another pearl. The heel is fantastic. It's a nice, chunky, substantial block heel that gives you a good height boost. I personally rarely wear flat shoes, but sometimes if a heel is too high, it's uncomfortable, whereas these are actually quite comfortable. I've been walking around in them a little bit at home. It has a squared off toe, which is a little bit different, yet I do feel like that's quite on trend and in style for this season. And these are in a faux leather. I do wish they had done them in a real leather, but otherwise they're absolutely gorgeous and definitely recommend checking these out. If you watch my fall basics video, then you may recognize this next piece, but I had to include it because I have been wearing it so incredibly much and is one of my all time favorite purchases from Zara. And it's this fabulous puffer style coat. 
this is my dream. It is absolutely beautiful. I cannot tell you how much I love it and how much I have worn it. It is a real downfill jacket, so it is super warm and cozy. It could even be a little bit hot for this time of year, but on some chillier days, I have just loved reaching for it. It has some fabulous design details. It has these really pretty zippers at the front, which I think tie in really nicely with the belt. The belt is removable, but I like that it really kind of cinches you in at the waist, and the jacket has a really nice length to it. Now look at that stunning faux fur lining. It's not carried completely throughout the coat, but just the part that really matters, which is around your neck, because it's super soft and cozy and it just feels really nice and luxurious. The hood is especially gorgeous. I love that it is detachable, so you have that option of removing the hood, but so is actually the faux fur. It just is buttoned on, so if you're caught out in the rain and you don't want to damage the faux fur or get it all matted up, then you can easily take off the faux fur and then still have use of the hood. If you pick up anything from today's video, then you need this jacket. It is absolutely fabulous. So I've just dressed it down in a really casual way. This is a kind of go-to weekend outfit for me. So I'm wearing the beige turtleneck from Target you'll have seen earlier. My Button up front jeans, these are by Abercrombie, they're quite high waisted, and then these gorgeous over the knee boots in this really pretty tan color, they actually stay up. Honestly, you will fall in love with this jacket once you have it. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you back here in my next one. Bye!